Welcome, 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 everyone, to a surprise early edition of a Bullet Brawl slash Chess Rivals. John popped on Skype and said, hey, want to play a rival? Sometimes he just, you know, sometimes he just does that. It's just crazy. Crazy that Johnny B. Uh, you know, maybe he needed to pick me up, you know, needed to beat somebody, feel better about himself. I get it. Always there. Always there for my fellow international master. A Chess Rivals is an event where John and I are going to play some, you know, some mini grudge matches on chess.com. Our first one is going to be a best of 13. So first to seven points at bullet, 1-1. One, one. Then we're going to play some variants. <laughs> Before it's all said and done, we might be singing Kumbaya, who knows. Let's go ahead and get the party started. I'm going to get John ready Freddy. <clears throat> I'm going to get John ready Freddy here. And we will be off. <coughs> So let's uh, let's get it started. Let's go black eyed peas on this. Get it started up in here. <sighs> He's not ready yet. We're gonna transition immediately from this show to the bullet brawl for today, which is set to start at about 1 p.m. Pacific. So we're about an hour and 15 minutes ahead of Shedge, and uh, everybody who's looking to get in at that point for some action. So this chess rivals will be kind of a mini brawl between me and John. And I believe John is also broadcasting currently at his channel, his private YouTube channel. So you can check that out as well. Of course, uh, you, you'll you have your choice. You'll have your choice of, uh, of who to watch live. Both videos right now, if you're watching this on YouTube and you missed it live and you're hitting yourself, first of all, don't hurt yourself. Okay, that's wrong. Second of all, I'm sorry you missed the live surprise show on chess.com TV, but it just means I won't be able to interact with you in the chat. Speaking of which, let's see what's going on in the chat, shall we? Chat town, population us. Chitty, chitty, chat, 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 chat. Since John is is taking his time, his sweet time. Taking his sweet, sweet time. See who's here early. Lots of people. Oh my Gorseth. Who is John? I'm talking about John Bartholomew. International Master John Bartholomew. We're more than 15 minutes early. We're an hour and 15 minutes early. Bad Ong No. Um, oh, you said that. Me, M. Le Louch, didn't understand the, uh, the times. But normally the Chess TV schedule, scroll down at chess.com TV, is pretty reliable. But... Um, you know, we like to have special surprise shows. Hang out on chess.com. You never know what you're going to get. Chess.com TV is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's what it's like. I just switched from a Forrest Gump to Southern Texas. All right. Bartholomew, we're ready when you are, buddy. He's still not here. <laughs> still not here. JB, JB Town, Big Town, Big Town, JB Town. All right. We are ready to get it started. Hey, everybody. Yeah, you know what? Oh, I was going to play you, Fecker, but then he just said, Fecker on, uh, on Twitch chat. Sorry, buddy. John just said he's ready. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We are playing our playing our bullet brawl on chess.com TV, Twitch Chess. Let's uh, let's get this thing started. Let me go and challenge my friend. Click play a friend. Let's go find Fins0905. I think he's a friend of mine. Yeah, he's a friend. There he is. Click on Fins. We're playing standard. We're playing bullet chess. One one is the deal. And just like that, the seek is on. The game is on. Like we said, it's kind of a kind of an early an early bullet brawl, so to speak. Right? Things are started. Hopefully John's ready. No, not ready. Maybe he's not ready. Just trying to get my hopes up. That guy. You know. 
Maybe he forgot my pro tip. We'll see if he did. All right. <laughs> he said he said uh, his screen capture got messed up. So you know we're you know we're full of technical difficulties here. If you're a, uh, an avid Chess Rivals follower, then you can be as frustrated as you want to be about this. You know, get it started. Get your act together, guys. I hear you. But he's ready for a rematch, so let's do it. Once again, we get this thing going. He sent the rematch to me, so I assume he's ready, Freddy. I assume he's all Freddy. Apparently not. Apparently John is... Uh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> all right. Well, remember, this is a best of 13. First to seven points. John and I are going to play... The same opening we've been playing, I guess. It's all about it's all about this all about this uh, hedgehog this hedgehog theory here. All about the hedgehog theory. Uh, play a six, flexible. Now go to d six, and then bring that knight into d seven. The bishop on b two is not as main line as the idea of him bringing the bishop out to f four. Uh, we kind of know that stuff. We've seen him play that before. But his idea is he's going to bring the knight to e4. That's right, because that's how he's going to go after my d6 pawn. So I have to be a tad careful. Or do I? Do I have to be a tad careful? I don't know that I do. I'm just going to play here. And now I'm going to bring my other rook over to d8. Defend the d6 pawn in the indirect defense, because if he takes it, he runs into a pin, right? And now I guess I'll offer the trade. The trade that he always wanted to make, he just didn't know it yet. If he takes takes and plays queen h4, I kind of have to take his knight, right? Yeah. And now I'm going to pop up here with Chekaruski, and I think I'm just going to play e5. Knowing that I risk the weak, the weak uh, d6 pawn, but hoping that uh, that it ends up being not that big of a deal, especially if I can start opening up the light squares. Let's see how this works out. Okay, well, it's working out just fine for him. He says, "I'm going to play a little tickle, I guess." Whoa, town. Ah, he has a nice combination, a very nice combination. I didn't see that coming. That's big time. Um, I guess I'm going to go here. Play something a little weird. If he takes, I'll take this way. Oh, I didn't see that coming, though. Owie. I think that's going to be mate. Yeah, that's going to be all she wrote. I guess I'll play this first just to get one more check because the kids love checks, don't they? And now I'll let the time run out. Okay, really nicely played combination by by John. You know, I think I I think I uh, just got a little bit too funny with my knight here. There was no reason to keep attacking it, to keep attacking the rook, right? Either I should build up on this and maintain the tension so that the e-file can become open if he takes it, or I should I should find some other way to make the knight useful rather than continuing to lose time. No surprise that he had a tactic like this because of the position of the pieces. I mean, looking at it in hindsight, right? I mean, as far as tactical patterns go, I should have seen that coming. But it's bullets, so it's hard to know. I think probably the best thing to do if I got this again would be to build up on that tension maybe. But okay, it's one game in John's favor, but the chess rivals is early. It's young. Here we go, everybody. It's like an early bullet brawl. All right, here we go. Here we go. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Okay, so he's gonna go for this uh, this this d5, this like hybrid hybrid Carol perk stuff. We've been here before. We've been here before. Mm. 
Not sure what he's thinking about right now. All right, here he goes. We're both taking a lot of time. I was slow last game, and John's a little slow right now. But okay. I'm not going to think too much about it. Haven't I blundered into this before with John? I think so. Feels like I've blundered into this before. Not the first time I blundered into this one. But, uh, but okay. He's going to relocate. I'm going to relocate. We're a bunch of relocating fools. A bunch of relocating fools right now. Uh, all right, I'm going to put the knight on B5. Not because I'm thrilled about the position of the pony there, but because I have a, a setup I'm kind of aiming for like this. Now what I'd like to do is invite him to give up his dark square bishop. Ooh. He just goes right for it. That's more than a tad surprising. Um... Maybe it's just fine for him, huh? I guess so. How do I... How do I relocate to, to get everything I've ever dreamed of? I'm not sure yet. Huh. Okay. What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go for this. Ooh, he just does it. I guess that makes sense for him. It was bad chess by me. That was just bad. Messed up that position pretty good. I guess we'll just sit for a second and see what happens. We're just going to sit for a second, work out some of the the jitters. Work out some of the jitters knowing we're totally lost here. Oh, what's he doing next? I don't even know. Oh, I guess he's going to bring the knight in to, uh, to checkmate me next, right? That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Resign or lose on time. Here we go. Pick it up. That was a bad opening. I need to pick up my game. Pick up the quality of my chess moves. Here we go. John's up two game to nil. Remember, everybody, we're playing to first one to seven points. Best of 13. Draws count. Hmm, he's taking another slightly unorthodox approach here. Another slightly unorthodox approach. Same thing he did last time, really. We'll play it a little bit differently, I guess. Maybe that wasn't a good idea, because now he can just take on d6. Let's see if he can just take on d6. Let's find out. A little irritating, I guess, because I don't really want to trade queens unless I'm unless I'm getting the pressure that I wanted. But I'm not going to get the pressure that I always wanted. It's not going to happen. So instead, I'm hoping for some swindles here. 
Hoping for some swindles here, maybe. I kind of thought about playing queen to c2. Probably John was analyzing that right about when I decided not to go for it. If I go there, he's just going to play queen to f3. I don't see a follow-up. So let's do something else. Hmm, wish I had something better. Wish I had something better. Title of my autobiography. Play a five, defend that knight. Bring that bishop back. This has gotten weird. It's gotten really weird. Probably not good for me. You know what I mean? Whoa, that was surprising. I don't know what he's doing right now. Oh, I thought I had something better. Darn it. Thought I had... Oh. Thought I, I thought I had the bishop hanging. Blundered that. What happened there? That got really bad for me really fast. I need to learn from this. So he's playing this whole b3 system, huh? If he repeats it in this, in this match, I'm going to have to either find an improvement or, or start doing something different. Because I've gotten a couple of bad positions, I think. And this one was even worse. I mean, I should have taken on g2 and gone for the line with queen c7 and rook over. I thought that last position was OK. I'll probably try that one more time before I give up on the line. That'd be interesting. Unfortunately, I can't click my fancy little computer analysis button because we're still in the middle of a match. Don't have time to analyze my games, so let's rematch, shall we? Here we go. Play e4 again for funsies. He's going to go for this one more time. Understandable. I'm going to. I'll play this again. I will play this again. Develop my knight. He goes for the dark square bishop. We get it. We get it. Hmm. Seems a little strange. Do I really even care about that pawn? I feel like I should be trying to do something nasty. You know? Like this. <clears throat> Slide over, I guess. Put the rook there. I wish there was some sort of concrete follow-up for the attack, but I don't see it. Got to play for h4 and h5. Ooh, he just goes right in, huh? Doesn't even care. He can do this. I just don't buy it. We'll go here.
Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, I wasn't even thinking about time. Oh my gosh, that was stupid of me. I was thinking about how to win the attack. I'm playing way too slow. Where was the, uh, where was the win here? Maybe moving the knight back immediately opens up that idea. I wanted to swing the rook to the h-file, obviously, and, and queen g4 is also a way to try to bring in threats. But it's, uh, he, he played his cards right because I was spending way too much time trying to win on time. I was spending way too much time trying to win on time and just not playing faster. Let, let's try this hedgehog one more time if he wants it. He'll probably mix it up a little bit if I had to guess. Always a good strategy to improve on your own positions before your opponent can improve upon them. And here he plays this early knight to c3, kind of... Okay, it's, it's sort of the same, right? It's just a different move order. Right now, we, we pretty much have the same position, just a different move order. I'll go for this again. I'll go for this again. If he wants to play that way again, I guess we'll... Yeah, I guess we'll bring this rook over. So we'll play this way again, see if we can't improve upon the last time we had this position. Some funny idea like this. And now bring the queen over. And maybe try, try to play for f4. No fear. He has no fear of my attack. I guess that's understandable. But what I'd like to do is find a way to bring some pieces over without taking a ton of time. I guess I'll go for this. Yeah, I don't even like what I just did. Again. Again, I don't really like what I did. Not sure why I decided it was worth going all in for this. I'm on tilt, guys. I don't want to get skunked. I got to figure it out. That's just an easily lost rook ending. Queen e4 is a good move. Let's see. Let's stick with this. I have not been unhappy with the position. Let's just play a little faster. Play a little faster and see if we can make something out of that attack, right? Similar stuff as before. Not going to trade. Epic comeback starts right now.
apparently I need to focus. Because when I focus, that was what was supposed to happen in the previous game of that line. That's just a bad line for black. White just has to know what he's doing. But I, I can't keep playing this hedgehog until I work something else out. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it up here. Go for a Catalan. Go for a Catalan. Let's get rid of that knight. Let's take it. Open things up. Would have loved to have had something nasty there, but I don't. So I'm sacking a piece like a crazy maniac. Peace sack was no good. Hmm. Suddenly Things are not so simple anymore. I'd love to checkmate him. Where's the mate, right? just do oh I just blew it what the heck was that about oh Danny 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 boy man that was stupid of me Booyah. That's how it's done, boys. That's how you swindle. That's how you swindle someone. You go from loss to winning. All right, see if we can get another win is white. See if he wants to venture into that, that business again. I don't feel that bad because I, I think I was winning earlier. So swindling him from a loss to win here is... It's not something that tugs at the old guilt strings, yeah? It's like, oh yeah, Danny, you feel guilty? Rather not, yeah? 
rather not feel guilty. Figured he'd go back to old number one. Once I beat one of his bad systems, you know, he gets a couple of quick, quick blitz wins. Right? He's good. He seems to he seems to know just how to do that against me. Let him take. Let him take. Let him take again if he wants it. He does. He wants it all. All right, let's do it. Let's go for some crazy attack. You know? Let's go for some crazy attack. more than I'm getting. Hmm. Well, that was a creative solution for him. A creative solution. I wish there was something. I'm gonna do something crazy. Try to win on time. Down a whole bunch of pieces for Nada. Yeah, that was terrible by me. Again, I have to I have to learn to hold back when I've when I've got an initiative and not believe that that makes you uh, feel like you can just go to sack town and give up everything, right? Otherwise, you end up being on tilt like I'm on right now. A couple of games striking back don't mean anything. i got to win a lot of games to come back here. And given the way the match has gone, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do it. But it's going to be fun either way. Ooh, he wants, a, he wants an E4 game. This should be fun. Huh. <clears throat> a dragon. A dragon, an accelerated dragon to be exact. Play this line. All theory, actually, believe it or not. This is all theory. Open that file. Let's go over here. That's the whole idea behind h5 and king h7, obviously, in case you weren't quite aware of what was going on with that. I guess we'll. We'll keep a hold of the dark squares. Yeah, why not? Um, there's actually a few different ideas here. This is one of them. If I take, he takes. I get check on the back rank, and he's mated. The old mate town, population white. Um. I guess let's just trade, since that seems like the easiest thing to do. I'm not sure it's the best, but it's the easiest. Now we bring that bishop back, and we infiltrate on the seventh rank, and things hopefully continue to get worse for white. Okay, well first I'm going to take here. What? 
I didn't think you could do that. Hmm. I don't think that was a very good idea by him. Well, the match continues. Not at seven points yet. All right. The rematch came in fast that time. He was not happy with his play. Let's go back to this old Scandinavian and see what new tricks he has up his sleeve. Uh, yeah, we'll go here. This time we'll go here. And we'll go there. And we'll attack. And we will back up. Hmm. Whoa. He goes pawn grabbing. He's just not afraid of pawn grabbing in any of these games. That's probably why he's winning. That's probably why he's winning the majority of these games. He just knows how to play fast and gobble material, you know? I don't know about that move. I don't know about that move. Hmm. Still, just not afraid. He's never scared. I guess I should defend. So if he takes it, he's bringing my, bringing my knight into a decent square. What's the idea? I'm not sure. Whoa. Gotta play faster. Gotta play faster, Dan. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Darn it, I don't want that to be game. But it looks like that's where it's headed. It's headed the direction that that will be all she wrote in this match. Sort of a weird, tricky position right now. Not to say I'm not just lost, I am. But, but, uh, but uh-oh, <laughs> but uh-oh. Uh, attack, I guess, I don't know. Check. Is there a way out? I shouldn't have given that check, huh? Turns out that check was a waste of time. I should have kept that knight there. Looks like it's over. All right. Well, John takes it. Started off with a horrible start. Can't go 0 and 5 and then expect to play uh, equal chess rivals chess, you know? You got to do better right out of the gate. I lost uh, two games as white in that bad Pierce opening of his. Took me, I mean, the one I lost on time, I had a great attack, but it took me too long to figure that one out. And then the other games in the Hedgehog uh, were tricky because John knows those positions so well, and I refuse to study chess. I don't have the time. So I either got to figure out what to do against that Hedgehog or start avoiding it to give myself better chances in these things. I'm learning that now. Took me a while. It took me like, you know, 13 losses in a chess rivals to not be so stubborn, right? But either way, it was fun. John takes it, 7-3. to three, And now, guess what we have in store? We have a little bit of a, a wild affair. We are going to play... Some variants. It's going to be fun. 
Uh, I'm going to ask John if he's ready. I think we'll play a best of three for Crazy House and a best of three for three check. Maybe. Let's see what he wants to do. All right. Well, um, I'm going to try to send you on a challenge here. Let's see, he needs a uh, he needs a break. Well, that's good though, because that'll give us a little bit of time to uh, to get set up. Hopefully the uh, the screen capture in the next portion will work. Seeing what he wants to do, if he wants to maybe talk a little bit during the variance, we can give our thoughts on the games as they go. Could be fun. See if he's into that kind of thing. See if he's into that kind of thing, right? All right. Well, <clears throat> after this, don't go anywhere. The Bullet Brawls is on. And uh, going to be a ton of fun. We will be taking on all comers in a bullet brawl right after John and I get our variant chess on. You know, a chess rivals, a chess rivals matches is nothing without a little bit of uh, variant chess. I think. I think it should be added because it's just fun. It's just it's like a video game for me because I don't play real video games. Chess variants is about as wild as I get. You know. Wild Friday night for me is a romantic comedy with the misses and uh, and some chess variants on chess.com. Really, uh, really hitting it hard in my glory years. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it right now. Whenever he's ready. We'll start out with a best of three at Crazy House, I think. So here we go. I'm going to go challenge John to a best of three. Where is he? Where is he in my friends list? For some reason, I feel like huh, it says no recent opponents online. That's not accurate. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we're going to play some Crazy House. Three minutes straight up. 3-0. And we're going to see... How that works out here. Hopefully, the custom view that I have set up will work. We will see. John is probably really good at Crazy House. I've never played somebody that good. Look at his rating. He is pretty good at Crazy House. Not probably. Seems like he is, right? So we're going to do something funky. Play d5. I'm going to try to get the initiative if I can. I don't know Crazy House Theory, so playing against someone like John should be interesting. Hopefully, I'll learn something after I beat him. All right, so if I take, he takes back. You know, I can I can start the whole start the whole nice the knight placement. Hold on a second, everybody. I'm going to try to try to refix the view here. Something's not quite right. So let's see, let's uncheck both of these. And let's let's redo our screen. You know what? It's not about me saving time on the clock. It's about your experience as a user. Okay? And that's a fact. So there we go. Um, I'm going to make a move at least while I'm doing this. Make a move at least while I'm doing this so that we can get this one up. Let's get our notation view up so that everybody's happy and everybody can see what's going on. 
If he plays knight to g5, and I've lost a whole lot of time trying to get my get my screen right. Let's see here. What to do? There's threats of him taking on f7. He has a pawn to follow it up with. Not exactly clear what's going to happen if I let him get the attack going, right? It's not exactly clear what's going to happen if I let him get the attack going. So I guess I'm going to take here. See what he wants with that. Then attempt attempt a place and a little bit of a quicker development. <coughs> Get this knight here. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense for him. Almost too much sense. If I take it, I almost get mated, not quite. <laughs> he could place the bishop there, but I can take. So I think I have to go for something like that and then try to make up for my make up for my sins in the next in the coming move. So he wants to go there. I think I have to have to be very careful. If I play here, he'll take and then replace the knight. I'm aware of that. So um and being that I'm already under fire here, I'm going to place some pawns around my king, give him some pieces, and hopefully kick him back a little bit. It's 3-0, though, so I'm already down on time. Down on time. Not increment. There is no increment here. Got to be ready to play fast. Okay, he takes. I take back. I've got my pawn. I've got my big pawn center here. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected him to do. And I really don't want to play that move, but I feel like maybe I have to. I'm going to play that move. <laughs> that move that I said I really didn't want to play. Oh, wow. Well, that'll do it, right? That'll get you busted real quick. It's over. Okay, well, um, we'll see if I can return the favor when I'm white against John. But he's got a forced mate. He can just drop his queen, takes, takes. And then when I block, he can drop it. Although he doesn't have forced mate, I guess my knight guard c7. But it's close. It's got close to forced mate, so I'm almost dead. Almost dead. Don't even know what to do right now. Make a random move. I say you always play crazy house games out to checkmate, right? Just makes sense. Let's get castled. Get out of the center here. Take with the pawn. Maybe drop another pawn for defense. <laughs> Defensive maneuverings. That's all I got. Oh, I had to block the checkmate. Well, there you go. Nothing to do. He's placing the queen mate on g7 next move, so I resign. All right. Let's rematch it. That was fun. Crazy house. Crazy house is nutty. That was a good, that was a good opening by him, right? Wasn't that? Is that something... So, or, or this C6, D5 thing is just no bueno. I don't know. He, I played like, this is like a theoretical position. This is a Carol Kahn. <laughs> so it's funny. I mean, we just played like a regular theoretical position here. Um, but, uh, all right, no more wasted time here. Let's try to speed things up. So he plays knight out, I mean pawn to e5. Good to know. Good to know that this is a typical way to play a crazy house. All right, we're going to play something nutty. Play like regular chess, see what happens. Let's do it. Play regular chess and see what happens. I 
I don't think either one of us really knows a lot of a lot of crazy house theories. Jean, you know, again, probably likely a little more than me. I know I could have placed the pawn, but I'm I'm trying to stick with my theory that you should play as organically as possible in crazy house at first, get all the pieces out. You know, John maybe agrees with me. Maybe he agrees with me. I don't know. So he goes in for this. I'm going to cackle. Let him take. On c3, he's probably not sure exactly how he wants to take it, I would bet. Decides to go this way. But this one feels a lot more dangerous for him. Right? Here, I've kind of got the initiative. Plays d5. I guess I'll on passant. He's, he's fighting back for the initiative. That makes sense. I'm going to put the bishop on d5. Go for it. Why not? Happy that I'm at least playing a little faster this time, right? Unlike the previous game where I was down on time too fast. It was not good. Interesting. So he just takes it. He's going to rinse and repeat, isn't he? That's what he wants to do. He wants to rinse and repeat. And just If I take, he's just going to place a pawn there and let me sack my bishop. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to try to open up more squares at the king. If he takes, I'm just going to pre-move back. Playing quickly. One of the keys. Okay. Let's take here and then drop that knight in to e6. If I get that rook, then I can place on g8, and that's a real problem for him. I think he's going to start looking to start sacking around my king now, honestly, because if he just keeps playing regular chess moves, I'm going to take on f8 and drop a rook on g8. Happy town, right? Happy Gilmore, eat your heart out. I also have a threat here of bishop takes h6, pawn takes, drop a pawn on g7 mate, right? Always think about opening yourself squares. Huh. I can still take there. If he takes f7, I take d8, he takes. Hmm. I'm going to take, I guess. Seems like the most logical thing to do, not get too fancy with it, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take here. And my idea, uh, my idea isn't working, maybe. He still doesn't have, like, immediate threats on my king. So I'm going to play a simple move. Go here. Yeah, at some point here, he has to attempt to unleash the beast, right? Place the pawn on the seventh rank. That can't make him very happy, right? Place there. Make him take with his king. Oop, took with the rook. Yes, please.
just didn't have the time. He's probably still losing here as far as Crazy House goes. I don't know that I had the best technique, but tough, right? I don't see any obvious places for him to place and like stay and checkmate me, and I'm threatening things like drop bishop here, right? And that's going to be bad. So I think, I think I was still winning there. Man, white seems to have a huge advantage right now between me and John. Let's hopefully I can hopefully I can turn that around in our in our next battle of crazy house here. In our next crazy house battle. Don't go anywhere if you're just joining us. You're wondering why is Danny live already? I'm live already because this is a chess rivals special. John took me down seven to three in the classical chess rivals uh, match. And um And now we are playing a non-classical chess, chess rivals match, crazy house, best of three. And then I think the plan is to play some three check, best of three, which should also be fun. Playing, playing quicker this time than I did as black last time. Hopefully that makes somewhat of a difference. I was not happy with my, with my time management in the last game. He goes right for it. He just goes to just sack town on h6. He takes it. I'm going to take it. He's going to check. I'm going to have to take it. I am aware of this situation. Doesn't mean I'm happy about it, but I'm aware of it. So we continue. I need to find a way to to get some pawns up in the game to defend things. Yeah, that was a good move. Now he can drop his rook, right? Now he can attempt to drop his rook pretty soon here. expect him to drop the pawn on f6. Yeah, and I'm not exactly sure what I should do. If I should go get the knight or if I should just place my knight. I feel like I need to need to get pieces on the board to defend this one. So that's what I'm doing. Oh no. Oh no. If I move my if I had moved my uh, my rook there, he would have. I had moved my queen, he would have dropped the rook mate, and I didn't see that when I first went for it. Uh oh, down a queen. Down a queen. He wants the knight. I don't want him to have my knight. Interesting. He wants the knight so bad, he's just going to sack it on, he's just going to sack for it. I guess that works for him, and I don't really see how much I can do to stop it. Couldn't really save him from getting my knight there, could I, guys? Nope. The only plus, I am not checkmated yet. Not yet. Didn't say I wouldn't be soon, though. Let's give this check for kicks and gigs. We know he's going to drop that queen on f6, right? We know it. And then what's his next move? I don't know. Oh, I have to play fast. Oh, he's also threatening to drop on f8. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. I have to I have to go for something like this.
Whoa. Ah, I didn't see that. Very nice move, Johnny boy. Very nice move. Very nice, Johnny boy. Time. Time, time, time. Time on the tickety. Still, I'm not thrilled at all about what I just did. Ah, very nice. Man, white is tough. I feel like I have a better, a much better feel for how to play white in Crazy House than I do with black. That was a close one, though. All right, but it's time to challenge for three check. Let's do it. Let's go to our recent opponents tab. This is one of the coolest new things about chess.com, by the way. In case you haven't noticed, you can go to play a new game and click on, click on the friends and it brings up recent opponents. You can just challenge somebody who may not be a friend, but who you played recently. I like that. All right, let's do it. Three check it is. Oops, okay, let's see. Darn it, I can't I can't afford to to worry about the screen capture and lose again on time. So I'm not going to. We'll see if Johnny Boy watched my games against MBL. He might have. I decided to play something weird and different than I did before. bit different than before. Wish I could fix this capture for you guys. Sorry. Uh, let's take and bring the knight in. Mm. He's running. it's over. Three check. That's my game. That's my that's my variant game right there, kids. I don't think he can stop me from just checking out the game here. Yeah, see I'm threatening queen h6 check and after knight takes, bishop takes, it's over. But again, you didn't miss everything. Stick around. The bullet brawls is about to commence. It shall commence momentarily. Okay. Interesting. He delays the inevitable for a move. A good idea. Unfortunately, the king is just running out of opportunities to hide from checks, right? I'm threatening knight check. I'm threatening this check here. Right, let's take here. He still has no checks coming.
All right, there it is. Another check and a mate, or three check, three checkmate. He moves up, wants to wants me to finish it in style. I love that. <laughs> All right, we'll see how Johnny B fares with White. I do believe White has a big advantage in three check, similar to Crazy House. Not nearly as much as in, uh, I mean, Crazy House, you don't have as big of an advantage as doing three check. But, um, but this is a lot of fun. He's taking his time, so maybe I'll try to fix this capture for you guys. Huh? Maybe I should try to fix the capture. Huh? Let's try to let's try to do this. Improve the vi the video experience for my for my viewers. I'm all about it, right? Some people are all about the base. I'm all about improving the video experience. Okay, so he plays e4 like I did. And we get knight to c3. We've been here before. I'm gonna play knight to c6. Already in a little bit of a different scenario than we were in the game that we played. Now I can develop the bishop out to c5 and hit f2 in an irritating fashion for him. We will just bring this queen right out to f6, I think. The threat here is either knight e5 or knight to d4, depending on what he does. So he goes there. But now I'm going to bring that knight into d4. Okay, very nice. He runs. I get it. He runs away. Still, nobody really has anything in our game here. Neither one of us really has anything. A very chessy three-check game. A very, very chessy game here. I'm sure I like it. Okay, he's bringing the knight around. I assume he has some plan of bringing the bishop to this diagonal. That makes sense. If he does currently, I'll just take it, though. see he wants to trade off that night a good idea let's play g5 take care we want to pry open that position of that king that's what we want Feel pretty good about this. Boom. I don't think he saw that coming. We are all about letting lines become open, right? Am I willing to sacrifice that single check? It's an interesting question. Or do I not want that? Do I want to take and then play b4? Take and then play b4 and keep his pieces at bay. It feels like the right thing to do. I'm going to do it. I wasn't sure. I could have, uh, you know, done something else and... Maybe even play b4 right away. But okay, I'm going to bring this knight in, offer another trade.
definitely worth that. Definitely worth that. And we'll take there and we'll play king up. Make him run. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to defend that. Oh no. Oh. It's almost Zugzwang. Boom. Did it, did it, did it. That was tough. That was one of the longest three check games I've ever played in my life. I finally made some progress to get closer to him. Like if he moved here, cause he had no checks at this point, I could like instead, you know, if I go down and he, and he plays king over, I can play rook over here. And still, if he moves the rook off and goes back, I can take, and he can never come down to open up that onslaught of checks cause I check him here. So, okay. I take the best of three <clears throat> at three check. Uh, John took the best of three at Crazy House. Uh, it was fun. I love three check. It's just a blasty McBlasterson. Nothing like nothing like three check. It's so crazy. All right. Well, um, Telling John, good stuff, good games, and officially we are switching. We are switching to regular chess. And guess what that regular chess is? It's a bullet brawl. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. It's time, everybody. The party doesn't stop on chess.com TV. We're going right from a chess rivals session with John to a bullet brawl, first ever chess rivals bullet brawl nonstop action. Nonstop action. If you were watching the chess rivals, thank you. Hope you stick around for the bullet brawl.